everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing really, really well. I'm literally so freaking excited about today's video because it is going to be a walk-in closet tour. Hang on, let me put you guys down. I cannot believe that I'm filming this video. I cannot believe I even have a walk-in closet. I'm so, like, I just can't believe this. You guys have no idea, always growing up, I've obviously always been obsessed with clothes and everything, but never had a walk-in closet, and some of my friends did, and I was always so freaking jealous. It was always like, oh, having a walk-in closet would be so cool. So here I am at 23 with like basically my life goals, and I'm feeling pretty good. So thank you for making my dreams come true. I love you. And also, if you are, um, you know, mini Gwen like me, <laughs> dreaming of a walk-in closet or whatever it is um you know don't give up on your dreams because I can do it if I can do it you can do it <laughs> so um yeah I'm really excited about this video and I hope you enjoy touring my little walk-in closet with me okay now one thing to keep in mind is my closet did not not always look like this at all. It took me a really long time to finish organizing it after moving and everything. And um, yeah, this is the before. Not only did I need to really organize, I also have and had way too many clothes and being able to kind of see them all in one space was kind of horrifying. So I knew that I had to really go through it and get rid of some things. Hey. Okay, so I've compiled this pile here of clothes that I have not worn in far too long that it's just like, I I don't need this anymore. <laughs> Who says hi? <laughs> and now I'm gonna take photos of these all and list them on Buns. So if you haven't heard about Buns before, it's basically an app that allows you to trade with other people in your neighborhood. Especially for me, because I do get so many things in constantly um, for my job. I definitely have a lot of things that I frequently need to kind of get rid of some things. And I have so many things that are amazing quality that somebody else would definitely benefit from that I just personally do not need. So that's where Buns comes in. This is so much more sustainable because instead of throwing something out in the trash, it can actually get a second life. And you can also trade something that you don't want for something that you do want. So if you need a gift for someone, maybe for Mother's Day, you can hop on the Buns app and see what's available. It's just so much more sustainable to do this because you're not supporting consumerism. And also obviously getting something that's already exists and isn't new is just by definition more sustainable and better for our environment. So you can also use the Buns app anywhere in the world. So if you download the app and you find that you're the first person in your area, all you have to do is start posting some things and inviting your friends and there you go. You have built yourself a little Buns community that will continue to grow and thrive. I would recommend downloading the Buns app to start trading with your community. Um, yeah, I really, really love supporting and working with Buns, so definitely check them out. I'll make sure I link the app in the description down below. So now I'm gonna take photos of all of these clothes here and start listing them. It's really, really easy, so I'll quickly show you how that bit works but yeah thank you to buns for working with me today also river has been just kind of missed that but she was just she just licked this bowl clean and pasta sauce thanks babe <laughs> back to her lookout <laughs> my closet and I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so I figured I would start by giving you guys like a very kind of overview general tour in case you're not really that curious and then I figured I'll go into a little bit more detail afterwards. So if we're coming in from my room, which I'm not going to show you because it's my CAF and like we just don't want to go there, okay? So this is like this little kind of opening and you walk in and ta-da! I'm sorry, I wish I could get a farther away shot, jeez. <laughs> Ta-da! It's so, like I'm literally so in love with it. So yeah, I've got this really big mirror here that I can't accidentally delivered the wrong mirror, but this turned out to be bigger, so it kind of worked out. So I have this really big mirror just leaning against the wall. This is actually like the world outside. I just pulled the blinds down a little because it's really sunny, and so it was kind of hard for you guys to see everything. But yeah. So, I 
la da da. <laughs> okay, so that's sort of like a little general overview. And I figure we'll go into a little bit more detail. So like I said, I've got this mirror here. Then I've got this adorable little macrame hanging flower pot thing from Urban Outfitters. Right now there's just a fake little plant, but I do have like, I'm trying to, I want to say germinate. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not the right, what am I thinking of? Like I basically have a plant like this and I cut some off and put it in water and supposedly it's going to grow. So then I can actually fill this with a real plant, but till then, got a little fake one. And then I've got this lovely copper little fairy light thing that actually runs all the way around, which I really like. That's just from Amazon. And I just secured that with some command stickers. And then I printed out a million pictures. I wasn't really sure what to do with this space. I was sort of toying with the idea of maybe putting like a shelf and then putting like some shoes on display. I don't know, let me know your thoughts. Maybe I will still do that. But for now, I just printed out a million pictures that I found on Pinterest and just stuck them there because I wanted to add some color and make it feel a little bit more fun. So um, yeah, I think it looks cute. We'll see though, we'll see if I keep that. Then I've got this mirror here from Umbra. It's the, I think it was the 24 inch or something along those lines. I'll try to link everything that is available online maybe in case you guys are curious. Then I've got all of this amazing, like I'm literally so in love with this little section of all my little jewelry. I just love that it's all on easy access and I can actually see it all. I just think it's really pretty as well. So I've got this like tri gem little jewelry stand that's by Umbra. I got it at Urban Outfitters though. And then I've got just like a ton of necklaces and some earrings and bracelets, all kind of hung, but I love that I can just see it all. It makes life so much easier. I've also got this other little stand. This one is just Urban Outfitters and I really like this one. It has these pretty little crystals that you can hang stuff on. So I've got those. And then in this little plate down here, I've got like all my hair clips. Then in this little pot, I've got some rings. This is the little Libra pot from Urban Outfitters as well. How pretty is this though? So I guess that's like the star, I don't know what that is. It's like a constellation for Libra. And then inside, if you look past the rings, it says charming, diplomatic, and I think idealistic. That was cute. <laughs> so yeah, I love that little pot. And then I've also got this little marble pot from Urban Outfitters too. <laughs> Everything is basically Urban Outfitters. I'm sorry, I'm not sorry though. And I just got like little earrings in there. And I like to kind of keep it slightly off kilter. Off kilter? I don't know if that's the right word, but that. I've got this little boob catch-all tray. I love this. I have two of these because I think they're really cute. That's also Urban Outfitters. And yeah, I just throw some kind of easy access rings. I've got my watches on this cute little kitty cat catch-all tray. This is actually from Simon's, but it's so cute. And then I've got this cute little gold. It says like, what does it say? The moon. Oh, maybe I should turn it around. That's what it looks like. I think that's really cute. That's also Urban Outfitters. Basically everything is Urban Outfitters. <laughs> um, there we go. So I just have some more kind of chunky earrings there for easy access. But yeah, I just absolutely love. Then I've got this little pump here that just has hand lotion because I find like when I'm getting dressed or want to put my rings on, I might want like easy access to lotion. So I just put it in this little marble soap dispenser from Simon's as well. And then I've got this little two little drawer acrylic storage unit from Muji um, and I just have all of my glasses in here because you guys know I'm blind so like I just have a lot as well because I frequently work with Glasses USA so I just always am kind of overflowing so my glasses in there and then my sunglasses in here and then just some cases so that's that it's this whole little section kind of run down and then, I mean, I'll give you guys a peek in here, but I'm not sure these are organized. Yeah, this is like my kind of underwear situation. Um, then I have sort of tops, like sort of, I mean, it's kind of messy, but it was sort of like long sleeve and then like tank top sort of, like there is like a rhyme and reason to it. This is all like graphic tees. Again, sort of trying to organize it by color for easy access. And then that has sweaters, but it's really messy. I'm not even gonna open it for you guys. <laughs> okay. And then we'll talk about this side. Now, maybe I can put you guys down because honestly, I'm annoyed having to carry this every second. Okay, hopefully you guys can still kind of see. So this is just like all of my clothes and I love this so much. So I've got all of my dresses basically and I try my best to kind of color coat every section. So first we have like all of my tops and again, they're like as color coded as I can. And then my dresses, so like black all the way to white. And then this is my 
I have a little section of sort of longer dresses. Oh, you have no idea what I'm looking at. Jeez, I'm sorry. Okay, I have to hold this. Right here, I have like slightly longer dresses just all kind of bunched in one because they need room to actually go all the way down. And then underneath the clothes, firstly right here, I've got this little cute little basket. This and all the other ones are from H&M Home, which is really cute. And I just have like the little kind of necessities that my boyfriend has here. And that's also one of River's favorite spots. Like look, you can see like hair has gotten in some of the clothes. She's obsessed with just sitting right here because then she kind of hides. It took me so long to find her after she discovered that little hiding spot. <laughs> and then I've got this little drawer set. This, I forget what it's called, maybe Nordly or something, but it's by Ikea. And I've got just my, um, I guess there's a bunch of bigger boy hats, berets, and some headbands. Then in here, I've got all of my socks. And then down here, I've got like um, other random bras, like sticky bras and strapless bras, not like my everyday, more like fashion-y bras, I guess you would call them. And then whew, down here, I've got a little shoe rack, shoe racks Ikea, and there's just some shoes, like kind of easy access shoes. I never realized kind of how many shoes I had, <laughs> but I have so freaking many, like I need to maybe go through them and get rid of some shoes as well. But um, I have two cabinets like in like the front entryway of my apartment that has like shoe storage. So a lot of my regular everyday shoes, like sneakers and boots are kind of there. But then here I have my like easy access for like fashion-y, style-y shoes, or just like the shoes I'm kind of into at the moment, sort of, as well. Because I have more shoes upstairs, up, up, I'll show you in a second. <laughs> and then I've just got this little straw basket. This is H&M. And I've got all my, like, decorative hair ties and scrunchies and hair, oh, sorry, hair bands. Can you see? Yeah. I have way too many, I know. I might have to go through them as well. But there we go. Just have that there for now, at least. And... Then yeah, like I said, so we've got tops. I've got these really cute little hangers with like rose gold. And then like, this is like a beigey velvet so the clothes won't fall. These are just Amazon, I really like them. So I'll slowly probably replace a lot of these with those. Like they're cute. And then like I said, dresses. And then we've got all of my pants. And again, I tried to kind of organize it um, by like color code and like style for easy access. So you've got like the snake print ones and then some leathery ones and then black, blue, light, white denim, basically all of those and then we've got my short section and again i tried to kind of organize it by color so and then skirts again sort of organized by color but sometimes it can be look a little hard when stuff's all patterned and then in this little section let me just slide this over back here i've just got like there's some denim jackets and then blazers and suit trousers and cardigans and then i've got this little thing here this is really cool I didn't even know these existed, but I just have a couple of belts hanging on it. It's really handy. I mean, those are only the only belts I own. Like, I don't need money. <laughs> but yeah, so I have that there. And then down here, I've just got my little laundry basket. I love this. I think it was from Wayfair, and it's like three sections. So you can pick up one and take it to the laundry. So I have like whites, lights, and darks or something. I don't know. <laughs> I basically until very recently kind of washed all my colors just like in one. And a lot of my whites like were less white than they were before, basically. And I decided that once I moved, I needed to start sorting my laundry and be like an actual grown up. So yeah, that's what that's for. And then I'll just go back over here. I've got this cute little eye hook so you can hang necklaces and jewelry and stuff. But because I kind of had that kind of already sorted, I decided to just hang like I've got like a bag and then some hair ties and a belt. Like I didn't really know what to put there to put some stuff that I maybe would want to wear easy access type of situation um yeah you could also hang hats also hang on here but you couldn't really fit very many then i've got these three little tubs these are from canadian tire little clear tubs and i've got my bags in here you can see that and then because just to make life a little bit easier i figured i would like, lay them out and i just like snapped a little polaroid of what bag is in each container. So when I'm like thinking about an outfit, I kind of know what container to grab. I mean, I realize they are also see-through, but that I figured that would also help. Then I've got these three or four, sorry, little containers. That's the same, I guess they should flip it around so they all have that. But um, these are again, all from H&M Home. They have some really nice stuff. So in this basket, I've just got some of my bags. I mean, I normally also have my black pretension all, but that's by the front door because I was using it. I've got pants in here and like jeans and stuff, but ones that are 
I don't want to not have like I like them but they're not as common to wear like these are my favorites or my go-to's at the moment so I just got some like other jeans and stuff that I might still want though and then some more jeans and some shorts as well <laughs> and then also more bags maybe I should move that over but yeah more bags here as well and then I've got this clear tub also Canadian tire with some like um cover-ups and beach blankets and bikinis all kind of shoved in there <laughs> and then I'm not even gonna bother to try and take this out and show you but I've got these two containers and I also just bought like the sort of skinnier version that I'm gonna put on top instead but these are just more shoes basically like knee highs and boots that I maybe don't need because it's some summer but then also like sandals because it's not even sandal season yet either so sort of in between weather shoes will be there and also sorry and also like fancy dress shoes like heels and stuff that I realistically am gonna wear like once a year but obviously still want <laughs> for when I'm going to like a fancy event the few times I do anything ever so that's what that is um is there anything else I feel like that's it I don't know I feel like giving you a tour is kind of difficult because the space is really tiny but it is also epic do you know what I mean like this is still amazing oh and there's a light I love this so much and also I mean, look, the sun's probably not as bad now, but this just gets sunrise, so it's a little bit too bright. Okay, if I just open the window a little, you can see. Obviously, if I open that one too, but, like, there's no one really here, so I can realistically just, like, change naked here, and it's chill, and I really like that. It's super fun. Um, honestly, living alone is the greatest thing in the entire world. I would definitely suggest everyone at some point to do that. I know it's sort of normal. You live with your parents, maybe have some roommates, and then you, like, get married, but... Having some time in between to actually have your own place, 10 out of 10, would recommend. I'm kind of obsessed, but obviously I know not everyone can do that. Like, I'm very lucky to be able to um, do this. I'm so grateful to live here. Although I am also really broke, so maybe I shouldn't have moved. <laughs> it's chill, we'll figure it out. It's cool, it's cool. Manifestation, yes! <laughs> Okay, so I guess that is everything for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and like kind of touring along with me in my closet. I'm literally so thankful. So huge thank you to all of you guys for making my dreams come true. Big thank you also to Buns, our sponsor for today. Definitely check them out. I'll make sure I link it below. But yeah, definitely gonna go list a bunch of things because I have too much stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, and if you feel the same or you want some new things, maybe what I'm getting rid of, then um check out once <laughs> please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and maybe leave a comment and let me know your thoughts on anything i just love reading your comments and i do try to reply to as many as i can as well okay i will talk to you guys again very very soon i love you so much um bye <laughs>